come get some. Hello and welcome boys and girls to a new tutorial here on the Visual Effect Hive. The place of edutainment, funny things, useless animations you can dislike and stuff that's mostly only in your way. Okay, today I want to show you some awesome and very well done shooter asset for Houdini 18 and how this is actually working. Yes, it's working. So, for all the, the ones that want fast results, get this asset, throw it into Houdini, hit the simulate and cook button and you will see it's making donuts out of nothing. Okay, you go here to the assets, install asset library, install the OTL, and whip with a wonderful, it's there. So you go to the shooter asset here and create an input node. This input node will then later on create this network, which is out of space, which is beyond words in the creation for you. Yes, for you. And then you go and enter your hit object, which is our tube here. Simple but fancy. Standing right up like a pillar. Not puller, a pillar. And you go down here to the paint button. And what you're gonna do is going to the background color. And then... You can paint your impact points where the destruction is happening. So for example, when you want to shoot at some model, you can pretty much put it in here. Or when you want to destroy some, let's say car or the, uh, you can also take here the test geometry when you in, in uh, when you are at holiday and you want to let the air out of your rubber rubber toy here then you can also use it as impact geometry but we use a tube because tubes are cool everybody should be a tube so go to the paint tab paint your impact points you can see their vertex colors here with the paint brush, you can paint on it. And later on, you go to the shooter node again. And you go to the input object and the input hit area. And here you enter tube, your object, and the hit area, which is pretty much depth by this null object here. Yes. That is the null. Okay. So, when this is done, you go here to the hit area and it creates numbers. A world without numbers is a world not worth. That's not true. So, you can enter here the scale for everybody that's not able to see anything. Can you see it now? Is it big enough? Yes? Oh, a mess. Okay, we go smaller. So, now we have impact points. We have the chance to enter the marker if you want to have deeper impacts or impacts on the surface you can specify the hit order so it's specific you can do random then it's created by the cubes of god who is actually calculating for you and you can use default so you also have the chance to do activation here for example, when you need more time because you have some 
certain arrangements or or a date or anything else then you can set your number here i use i'm using 12 so we have some delay and some flash in bef in in, uh, in the creation and we have randomness and so on so we also have the hit area the hit area is the the uh, geometry that is exploding out the impact from the from the uh, object you want to you want the shooting to occur so it, it's looking like bubble, bu bubble guns like somebody got some dirty habits like throwing them on some pillar here but those are actually uh, for the sake of climate change not bubble gums those are um, impact areas so you can specify the radius when you want to use massive hardware like uh, cal 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 caliber 50 or some mortar or some uh, you can also use a train cannon or whatever you wish maybe you can use also the death star this would be the death star here the death star death star impact from star wars would would look very uh, messy but we use some smaller impact So I'm, I hope you enjoy the music and you had time to sing a bit to the music because singing is a very good way to express your feelings. So, like I said, this is the hit area. You can change the depth here when you want deep impacts with asteroids or meteors or meteor shower or something like that. Uh, the scale here like we had before and we have the fracture zone so this is actually your piecing uh, your piece not your piercing your pieces that fly apart from the impact area you can change fracture points fracture points pretty much give the detail then I used the seed of a very very well-known number Okay, when we use a very, very well-known number, then we use 23. Okay. And then we have velocity. Velocity is the way the, the stuff is traveling over time with different forces applied. Like, you know, from the Newton law, when the apple was falling down the head of the Mr. Newton. God bless Mr. Newton and his mechanics. And Mike and the mechanics and everything. And I'm using a multiplier of four before because I really want things to shoot out and fly over the place. Very nasty stuff. Mm, I have an amplitude, a frequency. And we go to the next, which is the static object. And the static object is a great view, a VDB volume database view, where you can see the impact points, how they will look in the in this preview here so you can change the vdb voxel size the bounds and everything yes so enough music let's go to simulation simulation pretty much is the way the uh, impact is simulated makes sense you can cache everything to disk if you want to take it to your girlfriend or to some friends and show them hey here are some impact points do you want to buy some okay and then we have debris debris is pretty much when uh, yeah when the impact happens there's uh, energy going in and energy pushing out and can change the birth rate and everything it's the tiny pieces in detail the secondaries like it's called for the impact and we finally go to render and you can 
change the material as you need for the object here, for the fracture inside, for the debris and for the ground. So just go uh, to the, for example, I'm using some concrete here, concrete, and then you go to the shooter. And I want my fractures to be concrete. Then you type slash material. Double click concrete and it's in there. And the same for debris, ground and talala. So now let's see how this is, is coming together. The final gathering will happening now. Stay tuned. So, let's play this. It's taking some time, but you can see shooting is happening there. Stuff is flying apart with debris. Oh, let's do a flip book like in school when everybody painted on the pages. Let's do a cool flip book here. Um, I'm using HDTV. So I'm gonna start now. Stay tuned and listen to the music presented by Duke Nukem 3D. Hail to the king, baby. Ah oh yeah, Duke Nukem would be proud of this asset because he can destroy everything and don't need to use this uh, graphics from the 90s. So you can see it's uh, flying apart. So maybe some more, some more velocity, make it more interesting. But you can arrange the, the hit order to your own needs. So it all depends on your own vision and destructive uh, scene. You need some, when you need some impact happening. You also could use the new uh, RBD material fracture node, which will help you making everything even more detailed. Wow, even more detail. But you can see how it's actually coming together. So. So here's an even more dynamic and radical example how you can use the shooter asset. As you can see, the points are really flying in and hitting this wall of concrete and everything is flying around. Ah, now we don't want promotion here. So let's do it again. It's really like... Firing a lot. Fire it all. Fire it well. So. And we have our pillar here. Um, also getting ripped apart. So you have a lot of uh, a lot of possibilities using this asset because it's very easy to set up and you have really quick and cool results. So keep that in mind whenever you need some some uh, element for for your for your scene yeah so far for this i hope you enjoyed this little funny and sarcastic edutainment don't take it too serious and um, would love to see you again here on the channel give us a like give us a strike make it all right and see you soon bye bye Come get some. Hail to the king, baby.